So everyone, this is Angela from Bake It With Love and we're working on decorating some sugar cookies today. This is the frosting I like to use expressly for decorating sugar cookies because it will firm up so that you can stack your cookies and uh, freeze them, store them, whatever you need to do. That is the best way to ship them, by the way, is to go ahead and freeze them once you're done decorating your cookies. Stack them in a box and uh, even though they will thaw along the way, they'll get there nicely. So anyway, this is going to start out with some um, shorting. <laughs> So if you're not a fan of shortening, it's not going to work, but this is the best way to do it. Otherwise, if you use butter or any other um, any other way you want to do this, cream cheese, stuff like that, the, it, you will get the same effect where the, uh, where the frosting will harden so that it's safe to stack and store and ship with friends and family. Because you don't need all these in your house, right? I'm not the only one who thinks that. I love to bake, but I need to get out the door as quickly as possible. So um, we're going to start with, like I said, the shortening which also if you're doing buttercream and you're trying to get a really white buttercream frosting you need shortening butter flavored will work but um and then we've got a bunch of powdered sugar here confectioner sugar icing sugar whatever you call it we have about four cups and that's about half a bag and then we've got which is what we'll start with is a little bit of vanilla just a tablespoon a teaspoon not a tablespoon the that would be a little bit we're going to add it in with our shortening and this is what we're going to start with and i won't bore you with the noise but we'll come back in a second and then the last thing we've got here is heavy cream you can use whole milk uh, I prefer heavy cream because it always gives me the consistency that I'm looking for you're only going to add as much of this as you need if you don't need all of it don't use it if you need a little bit more use that too you need a uh, pipeable consistency so when we get there it won't run off you your beater here your whisk but um it will stick to it nicely so we're going to get started. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and mix my shortening and my vanilla so that it gets a little bit creamy and then we'll start adding and <laughs> alternating. When I add my powdered sugar and my heavy cream, I alternate so that I add a little bit of liquid and then I add some more sugar. Some people like to add one wholly and just go from there just throw it all in but um, I like to control my consistency a little bit better because we do have weird weather here in Minnesota so some days I don't need much of this some days anymore so we'll be right back okay at the beginnings of this going on I'm gonna use my spatula and shove everything down to the center and then I'm gonna start adding my powdered sugar now I've added about half of my powdered sugar and I'm just gonna go ahead and start this frosting's pretty firm right now so I'll be adding some more liquid as well as the rest of the powdered sugar to get to the consistency we need yeah got my mixer ready to go again I've got the last of my powdered sugar as well as the last of my two tablespoons of heavy cream there I'm gonna get some more um, like I said usually two tablespoons works. sometimes it's three or four got our frosting here to a buttercream type consistency uh, one that you can spread or pipe so we want to go ahead and finish mixing that off on kind of a higher speed on your stand mixer or your hand mixer whichever you're using and uh, have a little bit of heavy cream left over here not quite a full four tablespoons but uh, definitely three almost four so yeah. <laughs> use what you need to I'm gonna finish mixing this up and then we will show it a little bit closer so our frosting is ready to go as you can see it's fairly firm you can thin it out a little bit more if you want to but um, even for piping I'm going to use it at this consistency and uh, you can spread it directly onto your cookies if you want either way it's going to work so I wanted to come back and show that this is uh, our frosting it's dried now as you can see we have no harm done to the bunny that was underneath even though we lost a few bunnies in the meantime they died an untimely death um, I'm gonna go ahead and show what I'm doing with these little stars here I'm just using a small star or small open star piping tip and we will get our bag piping bag loaded again and show you what we're doing
bring your piping bag up. You can do it directly above it. A little bit of pressure and pull away. Pressure, push down on the cookie and pull away. And you can do this fairly quickly because they don't have to be perfect. You know, everyone does the, uh, the rosettes that look really nice, especially if you have a round cookie. Uh, but since we're doing a shape like this bunny here, uh, to, to decorate it with frosting, you've got to do something like these stars. To do flooding would be a lot easier. And I like to go around and kind of outline because otherwise it looks like I'm doing rows with my little stars here. And anywhere that there's a gap, just go push in another star and fill in. So just touch down on the cookie, squeeze out a little bit of your frosting and move on. Pull away, fill in as needed. You got your outline done and then I kind of randomly fill. Like I said, I don't like it to look like I've got lines going, even though I just made one. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to watch our cookie videos, the no chill um, rolled sugar cookies, as well as our traditional rolled sugar cookies so that you've got great cookies to work on here. Um, just a pointer that uh, you might like to know, I'll mention it in my other videos too, is that I like to let my cookies sit out at least all day after baking, preferably overnight, whoops, yeah. um, so that they actually kind of have less of a aptitude or what's the word I'm looking for? They're less likely to absorb any moisture and that's more for flooding when you're doing a frosting like this. That's not as important, but it does still affect the overall consistency of the cookie because it can get a little too moist from your frosting. And then if you're looking for something exactly like what I did, I've got some luster that's pink and purple here. And that's it, they're done. And I did that did the luster before they were dried completely. You can use a brush and brush the luster on after they're dried too. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give us a big thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe as well before you leave. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.